Hello there. Uh, I'm with Chris. Hi, Chris. How are you doing? Chris is at Verified Build, and I'm going to show him the project today because this is going to make his life a lot easier, not only for his uh, refurbs, but for his service and maintenance piece, okay? So we'll go through the process, very straightforward to do, nice and easy. When you're servicing on board now, you have to check your inhibitor levels, yep. okay, and the cleanliness of the system. So how are you doing that at the moment, would be my question. Uh, I'm not at the minute. Absolutely. So look, ProCheck is here to help you. This is a real simple way via an app on your phone to go through water quality and give you a certificate at the end of it to show the homeowner after you've carried out your work, but also to importantly assess the water quality before you start. Okay. Let's just go through what's in the kit, and I think that's really important. So in our little box here, we've got a sample file, which we've taken a little bit of sample water earlier, but uh, inside here we have an activation code. We have 10 cards. How many sticks have I got then, if I've got 10 cards? 25. Ah, yeah, no, that don't make sense, does it? 25 sticks and 10 cards, because those cards you can use more than once, yep. up to maybe three or four times, as long as you don't get sticky, fluxy fingers all over it, or uh, um, <laughs> grotty it. water. So, yeah, so that's the idea of that, okay? So, and obviously once you've used your 25 sticks, you can only use a stick once, yeah. then the refills are available, very straightforward to do. Let's go through the process, if I may. So look, first thing is obviously download the app, okay? Yep. Uh, and then obviously ProCheck app, okay? Then you can register it with your activation code and then you're in. And on, on the screen here, we've got a new water test available, okay? So if I hand that to you now, so what yeah. I want you to do, could you just press new water test for me, please? Could we have the postcode for this place, please? So basically what he's doing now is looking for that code. Straight away, we've now got that onto our certificate, okay? So just remember, we're creating a certificate for this property now. Yep. That's now down on there, brilliant. We've now got on here, why are we doing it? What are we doing here for? So let's pretend on this occasion, we're actually here for a service. Yep. So click on the service for me, please. Highlights that, next. What boiler is it? Combi. Combi, good, next. Now, this part here, you're gonna like. Okay, so what you can do now, obviously your job reference on your card from the boss in the office or whatever, you know, but this is the other key thing, is we're gonna scan the serial, the QR code on the boiler, and that will bring up the serial number across there. We've got the front of the boiler here, and you can see here, there's your QR code. So if you press next, oh. yeah, that's fine. Uh, and then and if you put that up to the QR code there, now, all of a sudden, you can see straight away that the number of the boilers come up on, that's all gone on your certificate. Okay, lovely. Yeah, happy days? Yeah, yeah, nice and easy. So basically what you're doing, you're, you're, you know, you're really starting to get the information in the right places. Skip to the next part of the process, which again, so is there a filter on the system? Yes, of course there is, isn't there? Yeah, then there is indeed. Absolutely, spot on, good. Now, on this part of the process, we're now just talking about where we take the sample of water from. So when we're taking a sample of water from for our system test, we recommend you take it from the central part of the system, not from the filter, not from low points where we want it from the system water, maybe on the hall or landing rate at the central part that's been circulating around. That's the water we want to assess. Yep. And one we prepared earlier, we've got a sample of water here that obviously you can see that we've taken. Okay, not from low points, because obviously on an existing system, that's where your sludge is gonna be. Why not from a low point? If the sludge is there, would that change the acidity or, or pH level of the yeah, water? So good. So what's happening there then? So first of all, if we take from that low point, corrosion is what we're looking for, okay? So sludge has already happened. So the corrosion is happening. Well, that's what we're after. Yeah. The fact that sludge is lying in those low points is already done. So that's yeah, yeah. No, no good to us. We need to understand what is going on in that main part of the system. So yeah, you're spot on. If you go and do it in that low point, obviously your test is not going to be what we're after. Yeah. We want to understand, is corrosion occurring in this system? Yes or no? And that's why we take the water quality from the central part. Yeah, okay. okay. So basically, you've, you've got your sample of water. Now let's press continue. Now, what I want you to do now is take, we now need to take a picture of the sample of water we've taken from the system. We need now to assess the turbidity of the water. So first of all, we need good quality lighting. We're not doing it in window sills where we've got sunlight coming through. I want good quality lighting. And obviously, make sure you've got a white backing behind it. Okay. Could you take a picture of that, please? That sample of water. Just like that. Yes, please. And continue. continue. Now, you've just taken turbidity. Now, you've got to assess that sample, OK? Yep. So look, let's remember what you just said to me earlier, which was a really good point. If that sample is dark brown or black, corro you know, looking rubbish, then obviously that's an instant fail. Yes. That visually, you don't need to do a test, do you? Yeah, yeah. So obviously, you, you would then need the beauty of what the ProCheck can do is you will get a failed test as a certificate. So not just you saying to the homeowner, yeah, yeah. I've 
failed. No, you actually can show that. You can show by the picture you've taken. Yep. This is all I just got. Okay, cool. But obviously on this occasion, it's what, clear and yellow? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so can we press clear and yellow? So we've assessed that water quality, which is great. And now, it's now asking us now, we now need to get hold of our sticks. Our 25 sticks, let's just grab one of those bad boys. And on here, we've got six pads. And on these pads, there's some clever stuff gonna go on. We're gonna dip that into our sample and uh, we're gonna maybe be able to make a really good assessment. So can you do that, please? So stamp it into the water, please. Hold it down for three seconds, shake it off, and place it onto the table, please. Make sure all the pads are covered. One, two, three, out, shake down. Place back on there, please. Press your next part of the screen. And we have now got a 60 second timer. Yeah. So what, what are we doing now? What, why, why have I got a timer now? Letting that work. Good. So we're letting that moisture, what we've got from the sample, soak into our pads. And each of those pads has got a tail to tail. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. So 60 seconds of our life is going to go, I'm afraid, and we're not going to use it. But well, like, Normally, you'd be drinking a cup of coffee. Well, exactly. That's obviously the key part of all of this is rule one, make sure the tea's handy at all times. Um, but yeah, 60 seconds. Can we just make sure, though, we don't dawdle with the tea? Because what it is, this is a three-minute test I want you to be doing. We don't do this and then walk away and then go and sit in the van and have the radio on and have a cup of tea and a pasty. <laughs> we just actually concentrate on what we're doing. This yep. is about a test in the process, okay? So we've got 20 seconds just left there. Good, there we are, 60 seconds up. Now, the next part of the screen is saying to you, right, um, I now need to add the stick to the card. So if you lay it into the stick. stroop there, yeah, so downwards like that, so you can see the arrows, that's it, spot on. Yeah. And see what we're doing now is we're laying that stick, which has been dipped into the water sample from the heating system against our colors. Yep. Brilliant. Press continue, please. Now, if you lift your phone up, I now want you to hold that over the uh, the card, and if you can get in line with the four dots, hold it there nice and steady. One more for luck. Bang. What it does is taken three shots of that sample, and within, what, about three seconds, it's yeah. come back with an assessment. And on our assessment, we've got here no inhibitor, there's no corrosion, and the pH is wrong. Yeah. So now, also at the bottom here, we've got the recommendations of what you need to do. Inhibitor level's wrong, you need to add inhibitor. That's yeah. not wrong. Either. pH, if your pH is wrong, it needs a flush. You know, pH between 6.5 and 8.5. If you're outside those parameters, yeah. your water, if it's alkali, it can be just as bad news as acidic yeah, water. Yeah. So we need to flush that system. So we would flush it all out, clean fresh water, add our inhibitor, do another test to make sure we've got that all the parameters correct. Yep. But can you imagine if you turn up to a job and this is the first thing you do, a boiler that's not working, and you now understand what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think one of the key parts here is in the first five years, 80% of the boilers that break down is due to sludge. Yeah. So assessment of that water quality is key. 700 million pounds of unexpected bills every year from breakdowns. So we know water assessment is key. Boiler manufacturers, the first thing they're gonna do is look in and sample that water. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. So absolutely, so good. So look, we're not quite finished yet, so could you press the next part of the puzzle? Because this is, I think you're gonna like this. So what we're doing now, we've got some note page. This is key. So let's, maybe we could add like, um, what we're gonna do, add MC1 plus. I recommend a Magna Cleanse. Because these notes are gonna go somewhere in a moment and you're gonna like this as well because from an ex-fitter's point of view, which I was, I wish I had this 25 years ago because I'd have filled my boots. No brainer. So we're just putting a few notes down about what we've seen, maybe boiler and airing cupboard, just maybe, and if there's not a filter on, we could put notes that maybe pipe needs bringing round in the return. All these things you're gonna forget, you're a busy man. I yeah, know yeah. Are, so absolutely. So once you've done that, press done, please. So what we're gonna do now, submit complete test. So we've pressed complete test, and what it's doing now, that test you've done is yeah. now going back to AD's cloud, and basically what it is, we're gonna store that and you will have that result on your portal. Okay. You've yeah. now got a portal because you've got ProCheck in, yeah. your, in your armory, as we call it. But this is even better. Press email results. Have you got your phone on you today? Oh, I have indeed. Good man. Would you like to put your email address in? Because I've just turned up to your house at eight o'clock this morning. By 10 past eight, I'm gonna give you a result of what your system is. By the time you've got to work, I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna need. So you're gonna receive this email from me now. And so if you press email report, and perhaps we could just have a little look on your phone, what has come your way. You're at work now, busy at it on another job. And I've recommended a few things possibly. There we go. It's come through that quick, excellent. So. On here now, this is an email that's come through. Now all of a sudden, if we lift, lift that up there, you can see straight away, whoa, just hold that there. So what we've got now is, is all our results. So we've got, remember the property, the address, the boiler serial number, remember where we've done that? All of that's on there. We've got a picture of the sample. We've got to tell you what's going on, recommendations. So I've just received that from a project. 
So obviously the key part of this for, you know, when you're doing service and maintenance, you know, checking your inhibitor levels is a key thing. But also when you've done a flush, how great is it to be able to give the homeowner a certificate of the water quality you're leaving them with? When you finish this great renovation you're doing here, what about that water quality? We want that to be able to go into our warranty pack. The boiler manufacturer's now got that. Also, when you're articulating that, obviously benchmark is a key part of how you um, put that through. So you create a, basically a passport for your boiler. So digital benchmarking is a key part of the process as well as we, as we know. So make sure you register that boiler and obviously the ProCheck can support you that, with that PDF and away you go. So, well done. Brilliant. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Good stuff.